Hi, welcome back to the channel. So today we're going to do a comparison between uh, Google's keyboard, which is called Gboard, and Microsoft SwiftKey. Uh, this will be on Android phones. It will work on any Android phones. In fact, both of these keyboards are available for Apple and iOS, but I believe there's some limitations on the iPhone with what you can do with this. So, uh, but you can look at this if you've got an I iPhone, see what you think. Um, so now I'm going to do a comparison between the two. I'm using the Swift key on my Note 20 Ultra. I'm using the Google keyboard, which is called Gboard, on the Samsung Note 8. So it's a fraction slower. Obviously, the process is not quite the same, but you'll get the idea. So I'm going to go to, I'm going to use Google Keep um, on both so you get an idea. Um, the brightness is slightly different on both phones, so it's impossible to get it exactly right, but hopefully you can see the difference. So first thing to do, let's, we should look at the settings, I guess. Um, here on SwiftKey, go here, I go to settings, and here we go to settings on the Google. You can see pretty much even laid out the same way. It's uh, the advantage on the Google is that uh, there are more languages, not many, maybe a hundred more languages. But some people say, for instance, the Thai language is more up to date on the Microsoft Swift key than it is on the Google. I don't know because I don't speak uh, fluent Thai. Text correction, glide typing, um, that means you can move your finger along and it types that way. I'll give you an example of that. They've both caught up dramatically in the last few months, but there's not much in it between the two. You've got personal, personal dictionaries, um, and they've got some very nice features now, both of them, and I'm going to show you. So now we just go back here. Um, I won't go through all these different things because they're all talk for, you know, pretty self-explanatory. But here, let's, for instance, I'm going to go to... Um, the big difference is the themes. I much prefer, that's the right English, I definitely prefer the themes on the Swift key. You can change the thickness of the letters, you get nice animations, it goes bigger, the letters themselves are bigger, but you also have a lot of things which you can customize on the um, Google. Just to show you here, if we go to themes, you've got all these, you can make up your own themes, dark colors, graduates, like, and so on and so on. And you can have little spaces between the letters. Here, if I go to settings under themes, you'll see the choice is much bigger, way bigger. And you can customize this with your own pictures in the background and so on and so on. I'm not sure anyone's ever gonna use that. Difficult to read, but here, Besides just changing the color background, you'll notice the actual shapes of the letters are different. So I give it an extra, probably two points extra, mainly for that one reason alone. I actually find this theme easier to use than this theme, for instance. Both have the option to have numbers at the top. You don't have to, but I like that particular function. You don't have to have these miniature symbols on the top. You can have them on a separate on either keyboard. And if we go, for instance, on the uh, voice here, they're both using Google Voice, and I'm going to press them both at the same time, and then you can see yourself which one works better. Tap there, and so you got type on there, and press that at the same time. And now I should be, it should be working on both of them at the same time. And let's see, I don't think you'll see any difference. I'm speaking at the same speed. I'm in the middle of both microphones. I think today they're both as good as each other. Uh, I'm trying to speak even faster to see if they miss out anything. Oh, uh, actually, there was a little spinner mistake there. Look at that, faster. I, okay, uh, and anything? Actually, if anything, the Google does look like it's slightly better. Yep, uh, let me just have a quick look. Yeah, here, anything, here, it's got anything. <laughs> so Google wins on voice, but we are using Google Voice, so you would expect that. Uh, wow, interesting. 
So, that, so the Google Voice gets an extra point for that. I press, I stop there and I stop that. We go back. Next thing, if I press new no, new no, other things that you can do, both have a fantastic clipboard. I think I prefer the one on SwiftKey. Um, you tap on that. Here, you can, anything that you're going to use quite often, you can actually um, put into its clipboard and manage it. So if you put down manage, you can have a short two letters and that will spell a whole word. Uh, and you can have a new clip. So exactly the same with Google as well as. So just to show you that. Um, next one. You, both of them do the what's called the swiping, if you like. So if I go H-E-O-O-O, -O -O, I kind of like these animations <laughs> today. Hello Today is a, I don't use this a lot, but it's great. Some people swear by this and you can do typing much faster. Hello Today and so on and so on. Excellent for that. Another feature which is relatively new on both of them, which is really interesting, is if I tap there, and you've got the same on this as well, and you can choose which ones you want. Translate, translate, English to Thai, English to Thai, and if I go H E hello, it automatically do the same here. One's using Microsoft, but as you can see, as you type in the language of your choice, it will instantly type it to the language of your choice again. So if you're corresponding with someone in a different country, you can instantly do this and to type stuff and they can instantly understand what you're doing. Great feature. Uh, and they both offer this now exactly the same. Um, other features which you can get on the Google keyboard, if you want the keyboard to vanish, you're filling in a form, whatever, you can just press that and bring it back accordingly. Uh, you've got the same on this, I just didn't enter that. Uh, other things that you can do, let me just mention here, we go back to the settings. Here you've got more emojis and probably more GIFs, but they both, or GIFs, whatever you want. And here you can see you've got a one hand mode, uh, and you've got a floating keyboard, which SwiftKey does not have. So if you're filling in a form, you now can move the keyboard anywhere you want, which is a nice feature. Don't know how often you would use it, but it's, it's not bad at all. So overall, I'm giving the points. Oh, let me just, uh, before I actually sum up, I'm just going to look at my notes here very quickly. Um, Gboard has got nearly 1 billion uh, downloads. Um, and Gboard does have more languages available. But SwiftKey is not far behind. Um, Gboard has about 500 languages, SwiftKey about 400. That changes and updates all the time. They both got pretty much the same settings. Some have a little bit plus and minuses, not much difference there. Um, some people swear that one is better for typing and prediction than the other one. I'm not finding much difference, but I was surprised myself with the voice test. Um, what else can I say? They're both free of charge. Um, Google evidently does handwriting, the translate, they do that as well. Um, but I'm going to give the points to my favorite one at this moment of time is SwiftKey, mainly because I do like the themes better and the layouts. You've got all these very, very nice way you can do it. Resize it. You can make this much bigger. You can also resize on the Google keyboard, but here, I think the resize is better because if you've got a phone with a curved glass, you can actually move it in and out like that so the curved glass doesn't affect it and you can make it smaller, bigger, anything you want. Now that, oh wow, it's even got bigger than before. Uh, I press okay. So as you can see, enormous. And if I go out of this, we go back to settings here let me get out of that mode just to show you if i go to uh let's have a look floating which i don't want and if i go to settings to resize as you can see you can only choose the height by ticking one of these 
uh, overall great keyboards for both my preference as i mentioned is swift key let me know in your notes which ones you prefer any comments uh, there are many other keyboards but lately if you notice when you go to the play store look at some of the old favorite keyboards they haven't been updated maybe a year sometimes two years I used to use a keyboard called A1 or AI keyboard, which was a great keyboard in its day, but it got hacked about a year ago. Uh, I don't know what happened as a result, but it hasn't been updated for the best part of a year. Uh, many other functions on this, just to show you again. I like this layout, the way it works so much nicer as well. Uh, pretty easy layouts. You've got all that stuff. You can choose a layout, quirky, whatever. Change the layouts. So that's it. Press subscribe, press share, and press the little like button. And I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you soon.